Ping, is Nate around? No, nope, I'm with Jeanette. Sponsorship. It's called the Sports Brilliance Program. Oh, Please. Try. Take a couple steps back now. Chicken. Don't break your nails. So, why Javelin? Why not running? I don't like running. Plus, I hate the competition. You don't like competition, you don't like running, but you're in sports brilliance? Fastest ticket to Singapore. Why Singapore? So you're looking for your mother? Yeah. What makes you think she's in Singapore? Kind of a feeling she'd, she'd be here. And what if you're wrong? Anyway, you got the wrong lead. I'm just a manager here. I don't know much about this place, really. How long has this place been here? Well, since the 70s. It's a fairly newish building. What was here before? Kampongs. Sorry, kampongs. Small communities. All but gone now, I'm afraid. So if you're looking for your mother's family there, you're going to have a long way to go. How long are you here for? <coughs> uh, a year. Well, good luck. Singapore's a small place, but still quite difficult to find a missing person. I have my reasons. You like? For the Luxa. Come on, please. We're a team now. We're going to be investigating strange happenings. We're going to be in life and death situations. How can I depend on someone if I know he's holding back something from me? You know what? I'm, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> what, Geek? You need to come here right now. There is a situation. Yeah, like what? Remember that Frankenstein thing last week? Remember she tried to beat me up? Well, today I came to the cafe and she... He... It... Uh, it tried to hit me again. I'll make you suffer! Oh, 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 I don't like pain. I, I cannot take pain. Anything but pain, even ghosts. Ghosts? Uh, of course. I'm a paranormal investigator. 
There are lots of strange things to investigate. Very strange things. And if you know what I mean. If you solve this case, I will let you go. Okay. It's about my friend. Frankenstein's friend is this girl. One day, she received a message from unknown. She thought it was a spam, so she deleted it. But it kept coming, non-stop. She couldn't stand it anymore. She went home. And then... Are you home? Are you home? Are you home? She is now sick, unable to move, speak, or think. So, so, so now, I'm kind of stuck to find out who, what, or why she is haunted by. And you have to help me, because my life depends on this. If, if you know what I mean. Okay, ciao. Okay, she's on the way now. Let's hope there's a simple explanation for this. Hopefully without a ghost in it. All we have to do is just talk to the girl, right? Must be a trick, right? Bad news? Huh? you simply tell him the truth? No. Is it so horrible that you can't tell him? Yes. And what am I supposed to do with it? I'm terrible at keeping secrets. Distract him. Make him forget his own mother. Tell him... Tell him that she's dead. And is she? You promised me. But... Distract him. A promise is a promise. So, another mystery, but this time, it's very serious. Ping is doomed. Poor Ping. Don't feel sorry for me, okay? Ping! 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 Seems like there's some sort of viral text message going around. Anybody gets it, falls sick. They are all haunted by whispering voices. It's a haunted SMS. Is that so? And Ping. Ping just got the message. Ping! Ping, come on, don't be upset. Easy for you to say. Oh, it's not. Of course it is. Nothing bad ever happens to you, only good things. People like us, we struggle, we fight, we compete, we sacrifice, we are cursed, we are haunted. People like me can never ever hope to get your intelligence. What good is that? Listen to yourself. What good is intelligence? What good is intelligence if I'm doomed? You think you're doomed? Then you're dumb. Dumber than me. Well, are you going to stand there stupid or use your brains? If there's a viral SMS going around, the first thing we've got to do is find out who else got it and why. But how? We can't go around asking everyone to pick up the SMS. Why not? Excuse me? Excuse me? Hey guys, listen up. You've got something to say. I, I was just wondering if any of you got this message. The SMS says, are you home? Mr. John? Yes. Does that mean I'm going to die? Hey, they all received the same SMS, including Mr. John. I got the same SMS too. Did you get it? 
Yeah, but why? We are all victims of this cafe. This place is spooked. Yeah, now, now, Geek, calm down. We don't want all this bad publicity. Let's be quiet and solve the mystery logically. First, we need to interview everyone who got the SMS. And we have to find out what we have in common. I'll do it. Come on, you guys. What? I know you. Were you at the science camp? Uh, I'm at all science camps. The astronomy club camp? Of course, who would miss that? Yeah, I was there too. If you have something to say, then just say it. I know why we got the SMS. Remember during the camp, we were given a comet challenge. We all used our mobile phones to shine away. There were bumps in the ground. I think I may have stepped on the grave. Anyone who followed after me who had walked into the same grave. Anyone who stepped on the grave is jinxed. The ghost entered our mobile. And is communicating with us now. But why the message, are you home? What does it mean? At first, I thought it was my mother. But the message kept coming and coming. I rushed home. The message stopped. But strange sounds haunted me. On and on and on. Are you home? Are you home? I'm home already! I was so desperate. I said to the I'm phone, home. I am home. I am home. I am home. Then it stopped. For the next few days, I didn't go out. Not even to school. Then there was no SMS. But. There was a size challenge to prepare for, but as soon as I step out, I received the SMS. It was only then that I realized that the ghost sent SMS only when I go out. So, are you home means the ghost want us to stay home? Yes. But we can't stay home. We got exams, school, and the science challenge. The mock challenge was really that hard. You found it hard. You found it easy? It's okay. Question 6 was a killer. You mean you solved question 6? Right. I'll do anything to win the science challenge. Oh, it's off. So, if the ghosts want us to stay home, why are you here? I found this charm. It protects me. It's one of kind. You've got to help me warn the other kids. Stay at home. But, I don't know everyone that went to the camp. Your friends can help. When do you get the message? I didn't. It was my sister. My best friend. Are you home? Whispering voices. Are you home? Are you home? So they don't go out? No. Nope. Miss school for one week now. What did they do before the message started? Science can. Science can. Science can. Science can. Guys, I found out something. So, 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 so did we. You see? These are not the kids who got the SMS. It was their friends or brothers or sisters. The victims are stuck at home, doomed to stay home. That's right, but we did find a link though. See that? Different interests, different schools, but they all went to the same science camp. I was right. Raymond says we've all been cursed at the science camp. Aha, uh -huh, there's a pattern developing here. But that doesn't explain Mr. John. That's right. He got the message. But he didn't go to any science camp. Alright. Let's start over. Camp? Cafe. What about the cafe? Anyone who's been to the camp and the cafe? No, the other kids have never been to the cafe. Except you two. It was my first time here. 
So, what or who is the link between Mr. John and the science camp? It's me. Hey. Ever wondered why that Raymond dude who got the SMS doesn't look like he's been cursed? No. I mean. Shouldn't he be at home? Spoke like the others? Why is he here at the cafe? So I asked him. He didn't say anything. So I had to convince him. Tell me! I don't know, I'm here to I, I got it from Ricky only. That's Tell all. me who's Ricky! He said he was protected by a special charm. He got it from Ricky. Ricky's the neighborhood fixer. If you need help, he will fix it. For a price. Exam papers, stolen purses, Library books, anything, for a price. So you're saying Ricky sent all the haunted SMS? But why? Money. Scare the kids, sell them some protective special charms, scam 101. But how did Ricky send all the SMS? How did he get all their numbers? There's only one way to find out. Time to talk to Ricky, boy. Geek, let's go. Huh? Alright, you guys go ahead. I'll go find Ping. Okay. Let's go, it's moving off. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I've got his number. Yeah? Find you, I am. He's going. Oh, whoa, whoa, no good. I'm not good at long distance running. Give me your shoes. What? Ping, about just now, I just want to say that no one suspected you, okay? Sometimes you do weird things and we don't understand. And you have secret secrets you told me to keep and I will keep them because I don't even remember them. Even if for a moment we thought it would be you, it's just that we wonder why you would do it. Not because we doubted you. We are a team, so it can't be you. You're done. Yeah, it is not me because I never turn on my Bluetooth. But I know who does, and I'll prove it. But no, you. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Then who? A very, very mad ghost. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is all very simple. It is called Bluetooth snuffing. It's a kind of mobile Trojan. But 
Doesn't Bluetooth just connect you to the PC to download pictures? That's just it. Connection. It's a doorway to your phone and your PC. Mr. John, if you remember, I borrowed your phone for science camp because my backlight was too weak. You did indeed. That's why you got the message. The ghost SMSer Bluetoothed your phone. Yes, and he is no ordinary ghost. A Bluetooth ghost? A Bluetooth ghost called Raymond. He's gone. He would. Because right now, at this moment, he will be attacked by the real ghost. Are you home? Are you home? Are you doomed? Ah! Oh, you are guilty. You did it. You let me out. It's not true. It's not true. Why did you step on my grave? There was no grief. No. What's the story I made up? There's no ghost. It was me! Hmm? I sent the SMS. It was human. Not ghost! Go! Huh? You blew through our mobile numbers, didn't you? The night at science camp, we had our mobile phones turned on. It was easy to get our numbers and into our file systems. You wanted to scare us because we were your competitors? Yes. Everyone at the camp were top science students. You wanted us to miss the test so that you can win the science challenge. I'm sorry. I was desperate. The science challenge. I have to win it. But Ricky heard your story. Perfect scenario to scam some money. But you stopped him. It was Raymond. <laughs> he wanted everyone to believe that there was a ghost in the mobile phone. I said I could make a lot of money selling the charms. But he paid me even more money to keep quiet. I'm sorry. Are you going to tell my parents? We'll deal with you later. Imagine going to all that trouble just to be in the top percentile. That's why I'm so happy to be at the bottom and be alive. <laughs> we are cool? We are cool.